Hey folks, back here again at Garage Toe Plaza video. So, this is a very important video because I've been running these generators in my garage and I'm doing everything I can to vent them and the one, the Honda one keeps cutting off on um, CO alert and it's the wind changes and it blows the wind it's stupid. They have it right next to the uh, motor, and if the wind blows the exhaust back, it cuts it out on CO alert, which is frustrating as shit because you want to keep it running when you want to keep it running. So I went on YouTube, and I found out how to get unhook it, but I couldn't figure out how to get these Torx fittings that I needed because I figured I'd just take it off of four regular Torx uh, sockets. So I put the torque socket in there. It didn't go in. I'm like, what is going on? Why isn't it going in? Because I don't think there's a difference between metric torque and American torques. So then I turned the generator upside or up right, you know, where I could look at it more. And inside the Torx screw, there's a little tit in there that doesn't let you get the Torx fitting in. So this is what you need. Let's see if I can show it to you there. You need a Torx screw, Torx socket with a little hole in it. And I, I, I thought it was called an inverted Torx socket, but it's not. It's called a service Torx socket. So I didn't know that. So I went over and to uh, Lowe's, and I don't know if anybody, any of you guys know Lewis over there. He said, what are we trying to do today? So I was going to put like a fan and suck the fumes out with a PC, PCV pipe. And I said, I can't get these Torx fittings off because I can't find where to get them. So he goes, you need a service Torx fitting. So I'm heading over there now, folks, to thank him. But that's what you need. And you get them at Harbor Freight. And I got a whole set of them for like 20 bucks. So... And now that generator is hammering out there for a while, and it's going to probably... And the garage door is closed, the fan blowing on it, out the window. But you don't if something, you don't want to leave the thing running at night, because you're going to be the only house with lights on it. It's going to be a alarm that you've got a generator going in there. So if you keep the garage door closed and the fan going and the thing running... You'll be ahead of the game because nobody's going to swipe it. I don't think anybody here would anyway, but... And then I have another one that's a regular gas one. And I think I had that thing hammering away in a garage for like a couple hours the other day with the garage door closed. The fan blowing the fumes outside. And it, it didn't even bother it. So something about the way this Honda is designed that it's... But anyway, this will fix it. So I suggest everybody get one of those. And you can also get vermiculite here too. This is made. This thing is, in fact, made of pure, pure vermiculite. So um, it's strong. Like you can tap it on my head, and you can hear that it's. This is solid. It's made out of pure, pure vermiculite, right from Pennsylvania, the factory. And they probably had it. I think they might have even ordered the vermiculite through us because we're a vermiculite supplier. So, but this is what you need. It's a service Torx fit, a service Torx socket. And I would recommend you get it through us because we can order it in vermiculite. And if you get it in vermiculite, you don't run the risk of getting shocked with it. So, like, if you're playing a Michelle Shocked record or something, you're not going to get shocked with a good vermiculite fitting like that. So I recommend everybody uses this fitting. So I hope this helps everybody out in generator land and um with the uh vermiculite sales too have been through the roof so thanks for ordering here with us we appreciate it keep those cards and letters coming thanks folks